system quantity of so the quantity of heat given or taken from an object heat given to an object and the heat taken from an object excuse me yes ma'am i have science exam tomorrow ma'am actually so in which chapter ma'am first second and third chapter ma'am heat given or taken from an system the first factor is mass of the object so it depends on the mass so second factor is change in temperature of an object temperature of the object any change we will represent with a symbol delta so delta indicates change actually and p is the temperature so change in temperature delta t okay next is nature of the material of the object so nature of the material of the object okay so these are the three properties which are going to uh, affect the heat given or taken by the system okay so that is represented by the formula delta uh, or h which is heat you can take this as a cube students actually cube is represented with a symbol heat is represented by symbol q so q is equal to m s delta t so this is the formula so what t is m here m is mass of the object what is s students tell me what is s mama i think yes size yes is size size is s so size is the quantity which we uh, define mama is it volume or density like that so you are not thorough with the classes like you are not going through the classes which we are discussing daily what is s we discussed in the last class what is s so somebody asked me whether ma'am it is a capital s or small s uh, who is Kar karthik hari karthik is isn't it hari yeah ma'am then what is that particular term s stands for specific ma'am it is specific heat specific heat this is very very important formula s e is specific heat what is specific heat specifically we will we are telling the heat so the amount of heat required to raise the mass of a substance like uh, you are taking like 1 gram by 1 degree centigrade it is called specific heat right so the heat it is taken or given from an object it depends on the mass of the object specific heat of the object and change in temperature Okay. Product product. Yeah, all are the products. Product of mass into specific heat into change in T. So T delta T. What I am telling change in temperature, which is T two minus T one. So initially the body is having certain heat, certain temperature. When you are giving heat, it will be changed. Temperature is changed. So if initial temperature is T one, so what is T one? T one is equal to. Initial temperature T two is final temperature. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so the difference among two is delta T. So, dear students, very important formula, and we are going to solve numericals on this. Q is equal to m s delta t, and specific heat uh, you will be having fixed values. You can refer to the reference values. 
So it depends on the uh, uh, the mate like uh, for ice the specific heat will be different for water it is different for steam it will be different for any substance s value is different clear yeah ma'am so next next here is calorific value Next one is calorific value of fuels. So, what is calorific value? So, calorific value is the amount of total amount of heat generally produced by complete combustion of unit mass of fuel. So, we are telling about fuels. So, if you are consider, considering a unit mass, so what can it be the mass? If you are considering a mass, so the amount of uh, heat which is produced when you are combusting. So, what is the meaning of combustion, students? What is combustion? Um, combustion means yeah. like burning, ma'am. Burning in presence of oxygen is called combustion. Yeah, ma'am. Burning in presence of oxygen. Oxygen. So when you are combusting a fuel, means you are burning a fuel, unit mass of fuel in presence of oxygen, the amount of heat produced, it is called calorific value. Clear? So calorific value is defined as the amount of heat produced by the complete combustion complete combustion of unit mass of fuel understood Yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So from this, can we write formula? So calorific value is generally indicated by capital C. C will be, so what are the terms included in the definition, students? One is heat, other is mass, right? C becomes Q by M. Okay, C, the formula of specific heat is equal to the amount of heat required or the amount of heat produced in combustion of a unit mass. So that is Q by M. Okay. So from this, what value, uh, what are the units you can give for calorific value? Tell me. Q is measured in? Joules and calories. Yeah. Joule and calories and mass and joule is and calories. In? Gram or kilogram. Uh, uh, okay. gram or kilogram. Joule is SI unit. So yeah. joule per kilogram will be the unit or calorie per, per gram. So these are the units. From the formula, we derive the units. Clear? So now fuels are of how many kinds students you can find gaseous fuels, liquid fuels and solid fuels. Gaseous, 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 liquid and solid fuels. fuels. Liquid Among fuels these, which have fuels. high calorie From gaseous value. fuels like CNG. Yeah. So among these fuels like gaseous, liquid and solid, ma'am, which ma'am, have ma'am, high calorie fuels. Ma'am, uh, gases have ma'am. Yes. So gaseous fuels have high calorific no value. value. Like they will ma'am, produce ma'am, because ma'am, because their combustion occurs, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, in the gaseous uh, fuels combustion occurs because of the presence of oxygen, ma'am. Yes. When compared to that of solid and liquid fuels. For example, CNG burns more better than uh, I'm like the I'm like 
Oh, Any class you can take more, which better than boys. Okay. Petrol mom. Done? Yeah, ma'am. ग्रेट okay next see change of state how energy is involved in change of state so can you tell me how uh, changes in state you can find so what state changes Atta. from solid Atta. to liquid Atta. from solid to liquid liquid to gas next liquid to Yes. Gas, ma'am. Then gas okay. to liquid. Gas to liquid. Liquid, liquid to, solid. to solid. Then. Ma'am, but I heard solid that. Solid to gas, you can find. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, solid, solid to gas. Ma'am, solid to gas is sublimation, and gas to solid is. Yeah. Now my yeah, question is, is. Now my question is. <coughs> Just let me write. Solid to liquid is which process? Ma'am, solid to liquid. Uh, ma'am, melting. Melting. Yes, melting process where solid is converted to liquid and liquid to gas is evaporation. Evaporation. Vaporization or evaporation or boiling. You can tell so there are different terms. Gas to liquid is condensation. Yes, correct. Condensation. Condensation, ma'am. Next, liquid to solid is solid. Freezing. Freezing. Fusion or solidification. Freezing, Liquid to solid is fusion or solidification. Then yeah, ma'am. Generally, it is called fusion or freezing. Is solidification is fusion, students? Ah, uh, see. Ma'am, solidification is yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I think it's fusion. Solidification is fusion or uh, deposition. Fusion. Fusion, ma'am. Ma'am, fusion, ma'am, fusion. Yeah, ma'am, fusion. Ma'am, it's fusion only, ma'am. Ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, it's fusion. Yes. So next, solidification means, which is nothing but fusion. Okay. Solid fusion, converts to vapor is. Ma'am, sublimation. Sublimation, sublimation ma'am. Sublimation. Gas to solid is. Ma'am, deposition. Deposition. So now my question is. In which process heat is absorbed and it in which process heat is emitted? That is evolved. Ma'am, in the melting process and the evaporation and sublimation process, ma'am, the heat is absorbed. Ma'am, sublimation. Yes. So to convert solid to liquid, you need heat, right? Yeah, ma'am. Ma so melting ma from to gas also. Ma'am, melting needs heat. Yeah. Evaporation, evaporization needs heat. Evaporization also. Sublimation also. needs heat. Give out vapor, you need heat. Ma'am, you can make a box of that. Yes, ma'am. So, in all the three cases, heat is absorbed. Yeah, ma'am. But in fusion, freezing, and condensation, and then, then, ma condensation, ma'am, it's not happening. Ma'am, it's not happening. Heat evolved. That is heat released. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Now, next, what is melting point and boiling point? Ma'am, ma'am, ma melting point is a uh, ma'am melting point is zero degrees Celsius and boiling point is yeah, that is for ice, Celsius. not for every substance. Only for ice, it is zero. So it differs for ethyl alcohol. It is different for uh, acetone. It is different for ice. It is zero. For water, boiling point is hundred. So what is melting point and boiling point? 
So boiling point means it is a particular temperature, right? Like water, water you are telling hundred. So what is happening at hundred? Ma'am, see the formation of vapor. Liquid is becoming the water is becoming into gas, ma'am. Yeah, into vapor form. So why it is uh, becoming vapor? What is the reason? Ma'am, because it is heating. Ma'am, because of the boiling process, ma'am. Ma because of ma'am, because of the increase in temperature, ma'am. Because because the of the increase in temperature. Yeah, so boiling increasing. Then why at particular temperature it is giving from the from the initial stage? Ma'am, because the heating. Why only at hundred degrees? Because the water boils, ma'am. Ma'am, for the example, temperature. Let the maximum it. temperature, ma'am, rise. Ma no, the temperature at which so whatever the liquid you are taking. If that liquid temperature and outer atmospheric pressure is equal, the liquid pressure and outer atmospheric pressure are equal, that temperature is called boiling point. Understood? Yeah. So the temperature at which liquid pressure and atmosphere pressure. Becomes equal. This is called boiling point. Then coming to the melting point or freezing point. So freezing point means the temperature at which in freezing water included students solid and liquid. Okay, their pressure must be equal. Then only freezing takes place. The temperature at which solid and liquid pressure becomes equal. Okay. I don't understand why do you call melting as freezing and freezing as melting? We consider both as same. Why? Freezing and melting. Sorry, this is. Freezing is different. It's just the oh. whole option. Yeah, it is freezing point. That's it. Melting is different and freezing is different. Okay, freezing point and boiling point. Now, students, let me ask you something. I took ice. Can you tell me the temperature of ice? Zero. Is it zero? If I'm taking the ice from the freezer directly, I'm taking. Will it show zero degrees Celsius if I measure? It never shows. It will be of some minus, like minus three, minus seven. It will be obviously. So minus six degrees. So certain temperature it will be. Okay. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So it will be minus degree Celsius. So like yeah, minus three, minus seven, minus ten. It can be anything. So the ice must convert into ice at zero degree Celsius first. Okay. 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 So you keep ice for some time, or else you give heat. Exactly at zero degree Celsius, it starts melting. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now melting, it becomes to what? Ma'am, water. Water. So what will be the temperature of water? Ma'am, normal room. Ma'am, cold water. Not normal, normal room. room temperature. It will be zero. You can measure at the temp. It will be yeah, similar to the normal water. It's water will be water, become, water, right? Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, then it's going to become normal room temperature and then, then high temperature. water at zero. I'm heating this water at zero. First, initially, I heated ice at minus six degrees Celsius. It begins to zero. At zero only, yeah. it starts melting. Okay. So, in melting process, is there any temperature change, students? No, ma'am. It is taking temperature. It is absorbing heat, but no temperature change here. Okay. So from water zero, I am heating water at zero. It converts to water at hundred. Understand? Yes, ma'am. 
So water at zero, yeah. it converts to water at hundred. Now water is at hundred. I'm heating. Then what happens? Water at hundred only it vaporizes. Yes. So this is called Vapor. boiling or vaporizing. Um, again, vapor. Again, it will become plasma. Yeah. So yeah, water. Ma 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 how much temperature? Ma'am, no, vapor temperature is hundred degrees Celsius. Yes. It will be at hundred. In boiling process, heat is absorbed, but there is no change in temperature. So heat is absorbed to convert its mm -hmm. state. Okay. To convert its physical state. Now vapor at hundred, it it becomes vapor at plus x degree Celsius. More than hundred. Okay. It's better if you write less than zero degree Celsius. This is more than hundred degree Celsius. I can write hundred plus x degree Celsius. Yeah, you can write anything. So do you I understand the process? Iron. Of what? Ma'am, and the next substance. What next substance? And what is the next substance? Ma'am, like you were telling that uh, not really water has some melting and boiling point. Every substance will have definite boiling point. Like if some X substance is there, its melting point is minus 3, 33 degrees Celsius. It means that below minus 33, it will be solid and above 33, it will be liquid. Ma'am, I'm asking when are we going to discuss that, ma'am? Which one? Ma'am, the other substance is melting. So no need of form. discussion. Like, no need to remember other substance. But in solving numericals, they will mention you particularly the melting point and boiling point. Don't worry in that. Okay. okay. If I plot a graph for this, if I'm plotting a graph, how the graph comes? Okay, here um, consider this as 0 degree Celsius, this as 100 degree Celsius for water. Okay, what we are taking initially students? We are taking ice, which is less than 0, like something minus degree Celsius, right? Which is ice. Yes. Isn't it? So Mom, this ice, it Mom, converts to? Light glow. This ice, it minus yeah. converts to? Ice at zero, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Ice at zero converts to? Water. Water at zero. No change in state. Uh, it is changing its state, but no change in temperature. So water at zero, it converts into? Ma'am, at 100 degrees Celsius, it converts itself yeah. into? Water at zero, it converts into? Water at 100. Now, water at 100, it converts into vapor, water vapor. at 100. Okay. Vapor at 100. So, after that you are heating, it gives you like this. So, do you understand how the graph is yes, not a conversion of states? Yeah, ma'am, it's like... Yeah. So, here in melting process, you can see that the temperature is constant. In whereas in vaporization process also you can see the temperature is constant. There is no increase in temperature, but states are being changed. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Clear. So what you are plotting here? Temperature versus time. Yeah, ma'am. So here you can write for the boiling uh, for boiling point the definition the temperature at which liquid starts to boil freezing point is the temperature at which uh, the liquid substance change into li uh, solid the particular temperature okay so shall i write other definition as well yes ma'am So, boiling point or also called as the temperature at which Ma'am? Yes. Ma'am, can I just have some water? Yes, liquid substance 
starts to boil. This is easy definition. Okay. Next, we can write here a freezing point. What other definition we can write? The temperature at which liquid substance changes to solid. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, due to which they transfer heat energy in the form of, okay, it's enough. So, due to which they transfer heat energy. Example, you consider iron rod where heat is transferred throughout the rod. Actually, heat flows from hotter end to colder end. Okay. And this is the process of conduction. Okay, can you see this process of conduction like flow of heat in all substance students? Do you find this conduction process in all the substance you know? Ma'am, only on the conductors, ma'am. So if only it, some substance allows uh, heat to pa pass through it. Like yeah, example, iron is there. Okay, so such substance are called conductors. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, if you try the same activity, ma'am, same activity, but with the rubber tube, ma'am, you know, uh, ma'am, it won't allow heat to pass through it. Okay. Substance? Ma'am, that's why, ma'am, that's why in the frying pan with the copper or, or layer, ma'am, at the bottom, they have a rubber handle or a plastic handle, ma'am. Yes. Due to the heat can't get on there, so you can easily hold the pan without getting your hand burned. Yes, yes, correct. Oh. Substance which allows heat to flow or which shows conduction process called as what students? Conductors. Okay, which allows generally those are called good conductors and which you do not are poor conductors. Okay, so example for good conductors, what can we write? Good conductors means flow of heat is easily. Flow of heat is easy to that particular substance. Example, we can write all the metals. Okay, like you can consider... Uh, copper, gold, silver, iron, aluminium, etc. Okay. And non-metals are generally, uh, they are poor conductors, but there is one non-metal which is a good conductor. Do you know that? Which is? Water. Graphite. Graphite. Water is not an element. It is a compound. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, graphite, which is a non-metal, it is good conductor of heat. Okay. Why metals means in metals you can find large number of electrons in it. So that electrons they help in transfer of heat in generation of kinetic energy. Okay, next example you can see is bad conductors. Bad conductors means nothing but insulators. Right, yeah, which are nothing but insulators, which do not allow heat to flow. So examples, what can you write, students? Glass, insulators, wood, clay, asbestos. Rubber. And what is asbestos? So generally in the pans which you hold, frying pans, frying kadais, 
which is of black color on the cookers which is black color to hold it like handle substance hey mama terracotta clay is a um, good bad conductor of heat mama then how do we artists bake it mom which one clay yeah mom how do they bake it to make a stiff model sorry mom now mom clay is different and the pot vessels you which you are using that is different okay so the rubber etc so these are four conductors or bad conductors of heat yeah ma'am ma'am can you have a okay place? and you can write a mercury as an exception mercury it is a metal actually we mentioned yes, all the metals but mercury is the metal which is formula is in g ma'am ah yes ma'am mg what Ma'am, it's chemically written as Mg, not Ng. It is Hg. Ma'am, hydrogenium is the Latin name of mercury, which okay. is Hg. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Except mercury, all the liquids are four conductors. All. So among metals, only the metal which is liquid is mercury, and remaining all metals are solid. So except this liquid mercury metal, all liquids are bad conductors. Ma'am, but how does mercury form? It is expanding, right? You, you because of that factor only you are using in the thermometers to measure heat, as it is allowing heat. Yeah, ma'am, but how does the chemical, ma'am, not a metal? Mercury chemical name. Ma'am, I thought this mercury was not a metal, ma'am. Mercury is a metal which shines. Yeah, ma'am, but how does scientists obtain it? Well, how does scientists obtain it, ma'am? Do they have to break some uh, big stone in the middle of the field for mercury? I don't know how they made mercury. Yeah, ma'am. You can do Wikipedia for that. Ma'am, you can just Google it, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. All gases are poor conductors. Yes, ma'am. All gases are poor conductors. All liquids are pure conductors, and all gases are pure conductors. In liquids, you got an exception, mercury. But in gases, no exception. Ma'am, can you have a quiz now? What? Ma'am, one. Ah, uh, ma'am, quiz like yesterday. Ma'am, quiz. No quiz. No quiz today. Tomorrow we can do quiz. Wow. Okay. So clear.